Marilyn Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today, and Chris is off to the side here helping me, is I'm going to make my third dip that I've made in this outfit in my dips for days uh, playlist. <laughs> I'm gonna make one more dip. Now, as I said, we're having a house full of people this weekend and I'm just trying to make sure we have enough food. My family is, are they're big eaters and they are camera shy, so you won't be seeing, unfortunately, them out of this, me respecting their privacy. So, but no, we're gonna have a house full of people. <laughs> so anyway, this time, and this for my last dip that I'm making for in, in wow, you see me dressed like this. <laughs> is Swiss cheese, this is actually not a dip, it's a spread. Swiss cheese spread. And Chris is over here grating for me, my hands are hurting. I've made two other dips today and my hands are, I'm just, my hands are aching and I've gotta cut some stuff up here. So he is actually grating a pound of Swiss cheese. We got it in the block. You could buy it already shredded, but I like to do it this way. It's the way I was taught to do it for this particular dip. And that's the way I always do it. So you'll need a one pound block of Swiss cheese. Okay. So in addition to the Swiss cheese that he's gonna have grated for us, what I will cut up is two thirds of a cup of scallions, just, you know, scallions, and then one cup of Roma tomatoes. And I tend to use the Roma tomatoes because they are, they, they hold up better in dips, I think. They won't turn to, you know, and be mushy or whatever. So I use Roman tomatoes for this recipe. And then it says, the recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise. I can almost guarantee you I will use more than two thirds of a cup just because I will need to use more than two thirds. So probably what you'll see me do is dip my spoon right into the mayonnaise jar and add my mayonnaise and not even measure. So, but I will give you this recipe. Take a screenshot, there you go. And it'll be down in the description box too. And you can make it your rendition of the recipe, however however you feel like you wanna make it. So here we go. Chris has got the Swiss cheese all grated. Thank you, honey, all grated for me. He's gonna do the scallions for me. I'll put my camera down and we'll do the Roma tomatoes. How about that? I'm pretty pooped, can you tell? I don't Okie dokie, here right. we go. It says uh, one cup of tomatoes, Charles. We're gonna see how many tomatoes that is, huh? Two. Yeah, and we'll just go ahead and do two. And that's it. You just add it all right in here with the Swiss cheese dip, or the Swiss cheese. And then when Chris has got the scallions cut up, we'll add those, and then you literally just add mayonnaise to taste. And I like to use Hellman's. I'm sure those of you who use Duke's, that would be wonderful as well. But other than that, I wouldn't stray from either Hellman's or Duke's. Of course, if you have a favorite, choose your favorite. Oops, sorry, choose your favorite. So we'll be right back when Chris is finished. Yeah, big old spoon out and he's done cutting. There's the scallions all cut up beautifully. And now, we're just gonna go with Oh, that much to start. We'll see if we need to add more. I also like to add pepper to this. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I do add a little pepper to this. So just regular pepper. 
no salt because the mayonnaise will provide all the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Poor thing. See what I mean? This eats up the mayonnaise. Obviously, I'm going to need more mayonnaise. There we go. Doesn't that look good? Now, I'm gonna get me a rich cracker. I also have Triscuits. I'm not gonna open the Triscuits today. I'm gonna to get a rich cracker. Chris and I will do a, he's still standing here with me. We'll do a little taste test for you. But that's all you do, you guys. You just mix it up. And, mmm, I can tell already it's gonna be wonderful. Hang on. Me a little. Okay, hang on. Let me turn the camera to me. How is it, honey? Do I need more pepper or anything? Tastes like asparagus. Tastes like asparagus. Oh, oh, Lord, I hope not. Right, <laughs> Goodness gracious, we might be in trouble. Again, this is kind of like a spread. I don't have a tomato in mine. Hang on. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it all in one bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Good stuff. I'm telling you guys, I would not steer you wrong. Highly encourage you to try this one too. I know this is a very short little video here, but trust me. We are not skimping on the flavor in this one. It is delicious. So anyway, that's gonna do it for my dips for days little playlist. This one will end this one. And as I move along through time, you know, I might may add other dips as I come across some or if I remember some that I wanna share with you guys. So I'm just gonna keep this playlist kind of as a running playlist. But I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a series here that I, uh, <clears throat> have shared with you as of late. And I hope you'll try some of these recipes, all of them, each one stands alone and is wonderful. Very, very good. So anyway, our, this would be great for a church supper, you guys, great for a church supper. Honestly, something like that, put some crackers, you know, put this in the middle and put some crackers around it, put a spreader in the middle. Wouldn't that be pretty? Oh my goodness. So this is delicious. I am gonna put it in this dish so that all my dishes match when I set them out tomorrow because, you know, I'm not anal retentive or anything like that. So I'm just going to put it in there for me. Anyway, let me take a moment to please ask you to subscribe if you would. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to grow my channel. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the notification bell, hit all when that comes down, the menu comes down, watch it all the way to the end, share with your friends and family, you guys. I'd love to meet all of your friends and family too. Please join my YouTube family. I would so appreciate it. And also too, please know when you see my heart show up on your comment, if you make a comment, that I have read your comment and taken it straight to my heart. And I thank you in advance for making, for taking the time to watch and taking the time to leave a comment. So let me go into my final words and say, thank y'all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering, with a catastrophic illness, chronic pain, or have suffered a great loss like Chris and I have. I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good 
care. Bye-bye.